before this video starts guys we're hosting a giveaway for two lifetime synapsex keys now synapsex is one of the best paid executors out there so if you do want a chance to win of course just head down into the description below where you'll find a link to our discord server once you do join the discord server head over to the verified channel once you're into the verified channel go ahead and click on this button right here which says click to verify and that will give you the verified role then you can head down into the giveaways channel and you'll see the two giveaways right here now of course if you're subscribed to the channel you will be able to enter the bottom giveaway right here but if you do want to increase your chances of winning then you can boost the server so if you do have nitro you can simply boost the server and of course you will be able to enter the giveaway on top as well so good luck to everyone that does enter the giveaway now let's get back into the video hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video now as you know roblox has recently updated so kernel was down for a while um as they were trying to figure out how to really go about updating the executor because it kept giving the 268 error um so i will be touching on the 286 error as well and explaining how you can potentially fix that um along with of course the showcase of the kernel executor so to download the kernel executor of course the download link will be in the description below um, as always make sure you watch the full video to the very end so you don't miss any important steps it's very important that you watch the video to the very end okay so of course to get started the first thing you're going to do is go down into your uh, windows icon right here so if you if you've got a, a windows 10 or 11 kernel will work for you um, so you can press the windows key on your keyboard if you know where that is or if you're on windows 10 the icon will be down in the left corner bottom left corner over here and if you're on windows 11 it's right here okay so you're gonna search in virus and threat protection just like that and make sure you go into manage settings now if you see a purple or sorry if you see like an orange uh notification on the top that says this program is managed by another organization um in that case what you need to do is you need to go into this search box again go into control panel go into uninstall the program and find your antivirus in here okay so i can't help you with that you need to know what your antivirus is okay so you might have norton for example installed on your computer uh, which is a type of antivirus so what you need to do is right click the antivirus don't actually uninstall another program make sure you right click the antivirus once you do find it click on uninstall and that will remove the antivirus and when you do restart your computer your screen should look like this okay now if you don't want to uninstall your antivirus what you can also do is if you know how to navigate through it just disable the antivirus uh, and then add the program into exclusions which i will show you how to do at least on the virus and threat protection default system okay so if you do see, so see something that looks similar to what you can see on the screen right now then you want to go into manage settings and make sure you turn off real-time protection okay so this is just a temporary change we will be able to change this back and i will show you what you need to do before you turn this back on okay but when when it is on what you need to do is click it it will give you a notification and just click yes and that will turn it off just like this okay and once you do have it off then you can go into the description get the download once you do have kernel downloaded it will look similar to this okay now if you're downloading let's say on um the uh chrome browser for example uh the download might come over here and it might not complete the download it might say the file uh was detected um and therefore we, you know it, it kind of rejected the download what you need to do in that case is hold down control press j while you're holding down control it will take you to your downloads folder and over there you can approve the download manually okay and that's pretty much all you have to do to download the executor okay so once you do have it downloaded what you're going to do is go back into virus and threat protection once again go into manage settings once again um, scroll all the way down go into add or remove exclusions go ahead and click on add an exclusion click on file go into desktop and or wherever you have the uh, folder saved uh, and then what you need to do is you need to find the kernel bootstrapper file okay so in this case it's right here so i'm going to click on that i'm going to click open and it will add the bootstrapper into my exclusions then i can go ahead and run the bootstrapper by double clicking it and it will start creating a folder for me with all of the necessary files as you can see right here okay so if i was to go back on there you can see it's completing the steps so just wait until it has done all of them okay so if it's taking longer than let's say 30 seconds then you have done something wrong okay so make sure your antivirus is completely off make sure you delete this new kernel folder 
and then try opening the bootstrapper again in, it, it should be completed within 30 seconds so if you're waiting over 30 minutes to an hour then there is something wrong okay it doesn't take that long at all and as you can see i now have kernel opened what i need to do now is simply close out of kernel close out of that folder go into add an exclusion again this time choose folder instead of file okay choose wherever you have the kernel folder for me it's on desktop i will click it and click select okay so don't double click it don't open the folder make sure you just single click it so it's highlighted and click select folder and make sure that folder gets added into your exclusions now i can go ahead and open up the kernel folder and i can run kernel and as you can see it's completely working it's not getting deleted i can go into virus and threat protection again and we can go into manage settings and turn on real-time protection that's not a problem at all okay so that's pretty much how you set up kernel now when i do restart my pc kernel will not get deleted because i have it added to my exclusions folder but this is the kernel ui right here you can go into options you can turn on auto attach um, of course you've got auto fade in and out so what that does is if i was to click somewhere else you can see like a little transparent effect which is nice uh, topmost if i do have this on if i was to drag any other application on top of it as you can see kernel still stays on top if i turn this up off then the kernel goes behind when i drag something on top of it okay so that's uh, personal preference uh, remove crash logs again personal preference it simply creates a, a crash log folder where you can kind of report that crash log to the developers it's not really important uh, install missing files so if you do try injecting kernel into your game and it says that a dll for example was missing then you can come over here and click on install and that will install of the all of the necessary files by rerunning the bootstrapper once again and that should fix your problems again you've got some game options over here um okay so this this is pretty much disabled because most of the scripts are patched in here you've also got hot scripts which aren't really needed these aren't really popular scripts i mean these are more to do with like the developing side um or these are just sort of universal scripts okay so if you want to focus on a game and get a script for that game then i would recommend searching for scripts for for example on my website instead of in here okay so this is for example um these are more to do with creating scripts uh this is just a universal esp this is an admin script which doesn't work on most games um but these are pretty much everything or these this is pretty much everything to do with kernel itself okay if i if i was to turn on auto attach then i don't have to press inject in game but in this case i will show you an example of how to actually attach the kernel executor into your game okay so now what you want to do is go into an, any roblox game make sure the game is fully loaded in okay so once i do get into the game i will then explain how to do the next step all right here we go so we're just simply loading into the game now it's almost done so make sure you're fully loaded in so it doesn't cause any problems and we should be loaded in any second here we go so now that we're into the game i can click on inject and when i do click on inject it's going to open up a cmd file like this i need to copy this link over here so you highlight it and then you click Control c to copy it if you don't know how to do that then just simply look at this link and manually type it into your browser okay so i'm just going to go into here and search up that link it will take me to a checkpoint which i need to complete so here we go checkpoint one it's going to take me to link vertize just approve that click on free access with ads if it asks you to download a browser just install it you will be able to delete it later on and i will show you how to do that okay so that's not a problem at all so it's now installing the the browser now if you pref if you want a keyless executor where you don't have to do this step then you can check out delta or blackout that I have made videos on in the past okay so this is just installing um and i will go ahead and accept that and once this has completed then i don't have to do anything else i can just close out of this okay so we're just going to wait for this to complete and it should say task completed any second there we go and i can close out of that and i can, I can click continue we're in checkpoint two now again same thing this time it won't ask us to download a browser we can just simply click on access free ads okay since it's telling us to do the same thing again which is kind of weird um so i might have to just simply do that again um i do already have it installed so i'm not quite sure what it's gonna do but here we go again the first one is still installing so you just want to do the same thing again it does take a couple of seconds and it's going to confirm and I believe there are three or four checkpoints you need to complete. Um, and then you're good to go. So that browser has installed now. But, and okay, there we go. Perfect. 
that should say task completed and continue to checkpoint three this is checkpoint three do the same thing again there we go free access with ads it's asking us to download the browser one more time there we go i already have it installed so it, all it does pretty much is just launches the actual browser there we go and that should be done any second so you can see this is checkpoint one this is checkpoint two this is checkpoint three and i think there are three or four checkpoints in total so we should be done any second now there we go and there we go perfect and continue okay so there's one more checkpoint which is checkpoint four we're gonna do the exact same thing again free access oh, it's asking us to do the launcher again and this is kind of annoying because i think linkword has added this um without you know you can't really change this even if kind of wanted to remove this feature right here they would not be able to unfortunately which kind of sucks um but we kind of have to deal with it so if you do want to use kernel this is something you gotta keep in mind um you can use uh, a few sites to bypass this um but i personally would you know just show some sort of support to the actual execute uh, executor developers um because this is their sort of way to earn the revenue okay so here we go we've done all of that and we've finally gotten our key what i'm going to do is i'm going to highlight it and i'm going to press ctrl c again go into here and then do ctrl v and when i when i do paste the key i'm going to press enter it's going to check key it's going to say correct key and we can go back into our executor now and we are now ready to and pretty much execute any script of our choice okay so here we go i'm gonna paste in my script it's already injected i'm gonna click execute and that will execute my script and we're pretty much ready to go so well, from from this point on you can just simply set up the script to your liking i don't have a config so i will just kind of show you this in action so let's turn on rage mode this will get me kicked pretty instantly because rage mode is really obvious uh, distance health boxes blah 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 i think we're good okay the esp isn't enabled i think i've done something wrong here because the esp should be working i don't think i've set it up properly but you get you, you get the point this isn't anything to do with the actual um executor itself this is just me not setting up the script correctly but you can see the the actual aimbot is working i'm not even shooting it's killing players on its own and i think there we go okay so the esp is now working there we go so i kind of have to i had to change a few things um and yeah so this is the rage mode for the script you can see it's just killing everyone without me even shooting and someone's asking for me to be kicked of course because it's kind of obvious that i'm cheating all right guys so that was pretty much the executor showcase i've kind of explained how to set it up properly how to install the missing files and as for the 268 error that is simply uh due to the fact that the executor is detected okay so when you do inject the executor into your game roblox detects it as a dll being injected into your roblox game and they ban you or around 30 minutes to an hour okay so they don't ban your account they ban your computer okay so it's a hardware id ban um and because of that you cannot play any game on any account in roblox for 30 minutes to an hour okay so as of right now there are no bypassing tools working there were previously a lot of bypassing tools that actually worked but for now all you have to do is wait around 30 minutes to an hour and then you will be able to play again okay so there is no other fix don't try installing any dodgy programs or anything it will not work as of right now okay the only thing you can do is wait 30 minutes to an hour and then you should be back up and running okay and as for these <laughs> as for these browsers that we had to install uh, what i'll do is i'll highlight them i'll delete them and then we can go into our control panel once again go into uninstall the program and it should be here so if it's not over here you can just toggle this and make sure the arrow is facing down and it shows you the latest installed programs on top right click click on uninstall and that will get rid of that browser for you okay so you can see it's pretty much uninstalling uh, i can click on uninstall and that's pretty much done okay so that's pretty much how you set up the kernel executor how to get the key and everything 
um hopefully you did find this video useful if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching